This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to another Behind the Brand video. It is officially less than four weeks until we pack up our lives and head on over to Japan for six months. And so I thought I would pick up the camera and document the lead up to going to Japan just because I've got quite a few things I need to wrap up here and also have fun things like packing up my handmade wardrobe to take over to Japan with me. And I thought it would be fun just to film the whole process. First of all, I did just want to say a huge thank you for all the lovely comments that you left on my last Behind the Brand video where I actually shared the news that I was taking this big adventure. It honestly means so much to me that you're as excited about this trip as I am. And I'm relieved that you took the news so well and that you're excited for this change as well because it is going to be a change and things are going to be a little bit different on this channel this year, but I'm very excited about that. In saying that though, I am starting to get a little bit anxious about the trip because I am definitely one of those character types that tries to avoid change as much as possible. I do not thrive on change. I love a good routine. And luckily for me, my partner Matt is the exact opposite of me. He loves change and tries to get out of his comfort zone as much as possible. And I feel like we're a good match because we kind of balance each other out. He definitely brings me out of my comfort zone, which is good because it helps me to grow. So now that we're a month away from leaving, I have decided to start saying goodbye to my physical paper patterns. So you would have seen in my last Behind the Brand video, I did a massive restock of all the sizes and the different pattern designs. And now it's time to try to get rid of all the stock. So I started having a 30% off sale just to my newsletter subscribers over the weekend. And I have now got quite a few orders I need to package up today and send out. Sadly, I think by the time you're watching this video though, the sale will be done and I will have stopped shipping my paper patterns because hopefully by the time you're watching this video I will already be in Japan. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> So I have everything set up for what I need to package up these orders. So I've picked out the first 10 orders because I find working with 10 orders at a time is a lot less overwhelming. <laughs> um, and I also just spent some time writing some little notes to some of my returning customers, um, which is so nice. All of these lovely orders and my entire online store for that matter would not be at all possible without today's video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and launch your passion project. Whether you'd like to start making and selling your own products, create a beautiful portfolio to showcase your work, write a blog, or simply create any website of any kind, you can create your dream website all by yourself with Squarespace. You simply select from one of their beautifully designed templates and then you can change up the template as much or as little as you like with just a few clicks, no background or knowledge needed in coding whatsoever. Something else I love about Squarespace is the fact that they have a really helpful and easy to use app. And while packaging orders like this, having the Squarespace app on my phone makes the whole order fulfilling process so, so easy. I'm also able to easily access my website's analytics and edit my website if I need to all straight from my phone, which I know is going to be so handy while I'm on the move in Japan. The fact that I don't need to get my laptop out while traveling and can instead keep an eye on my entire online store via my phone just gives me so much peace of mind. So if you'd like to create your dream website for yourself, Self, then I totally recommend you go and check out Squarespace using the link in the description below and take advantage of their free trial so you can test out just how easy it is to use Squarespace for yourself. And when you're ready to launch your beautiful new website, head to squarespace.com slash rosaryapparel for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video.
So today is exactly two weeks to the day before we leave. And yeah, I'm at the stage now where the anxiety is getting very real, so much so that I'm struggling to sleep. I'm usually a really good sleeper, but the last few nights I've just been waking up in the middle of the night and then I can't stop my brain from just thinking about everything that needs to get done before we go. So I ended up getting up at 2 a.m. last night and just edited some videos because I just could not get back to sleep, which is kind of good because I got a lot done. I got three hours worth of editing done in the middle of the night, which means today is going to be a pretty easy day because that was like one of the biggest tasks on my to-do list today. I don't really have any good reason apart from nerves to be anxious about. Like I'm feeling pretty prepared both with my work and with getting our lives organized before we go. Um, so it's, yeah, it's literally just nerves. Um, I'm an anxious traveler at the best of times. And the idea of leaving my home for six whole months has just heightened that travel anxiety so much. So what I've planned to do today is work on something a little bit fun. And that is to actually plan some of my craft projects for while I'm over in Japan. Like I know I'm going to find so many fun crafts to try while I'm in Japan, but I do have a couple of craft projects that I really wanna organize and take with me for while I'm in Japan as well. Um, one of them is a knitting project because I always have to have a knitting project on the go. Usually my knitting projects take around six months to complete so I thought it'd be really fun to have a go at making something while I'm in Japan and I am just so so excited about this project. Basically I've been really inspired by the feather and fan wavy look that has been a really popular trend in knitwear this season and kind of starting last winter here in Australia. I'll put some example images on the screen now so you can see exactly what I mean. But basically it's just like a stripe pattern but in this really fun feathered wavy design and I really like the look of it. I think it's going to be such a cute make and I'm ready to make something a little bit colourful and fun. Um, so I actually picked up this piece of card which has the pattern on the back and it's pretty much exactly what I'm looking to make. Um, this pattern has been made for cotton yarn but I'm gonna just make it with wool yarn and so the colors I've chosen are definitely a little bit different for me and I'm really excited about it. I've decided I want to make the base color just a plain white because that will kind of go with everything. I've got this cute baby pink to go with it. Then I'm tossing up between mustard or my favorite burnt orange color. And then the one that is the most different for me is this really beautiful dark forest green. And all of these, except for this green shade, I actually already had in my collection because they were just left over from past projects. And so I went to go and purchase this green color because I thought it would look really nice with all of these colors. Just look at it, like the color combo is so fun. And so I went to go purchase this green color on the website and then it turns out you have to pay for shipping when you're spending less than $50. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll just see if my mum's placing an order anytime soon and she can just add one of these balls in her order for me. So I messaged her and then she replied saying, you would not believe it, Janelle. I have an order coming from Bendigo Woolen Mills today and there is a forest green ball of yarn in it that I added to my cart just because she had no reason to add it to her cart. She was just like, oh, I might use that color eventually. And then it just so happens I messaged her the day it was arriving saying I needed this color that is not very me at all. So she would never have bought it thinking I would ever use it. That is a very rambly story, but basically I just feel like this jumper that I'm making is definitely meant to be and I'm really excited to get started with it. And then the other project I have planned is going to be kind of like a visual diary of our time in Japan. Um, I'm actually going to take a leaf out of Lindsay's book from Lindsay Stitches on Instagram. She basically did this amazing embroidery a day project in 2020 and she did it again last year and she basically just embroidered these micro embroideries one every single day to like represent her day for the whole entire year which I just think is the most inspiring thing ever. I am going to be a little bit different to Lindsay and I'm going to do cross stitch instead. I was really inspired by this book cover that I found on Pinterest. Um, it's just got these really 
kind of Japanese inspired micro cross stitches which I think are the cutest thing ever and I really want to do just a big visual diary on a, just a rectangle of cross stitching fabric of every single day we're in Japan. Um, I'm not going to probably cross stitch every single day but I'm just going to write down something from every day into my notebook so I can like cross stitch it later if that makes sense. Um, but I think it's going to be a really fun keepsake piece for when this whole trip's done and something we'll be able to display in our home that will represent our trip of a lifetime to Japan. I've been rambling for 10 minutes already on all of these craft projects so if you're still watching thank you. It's not exactly the most riveting content I've ever created but basically today I've got a whole heap of cross stitch threads that I pulled out of my garage that I've had for the longest time and I'm gonna sort out what colors I want to bring with me um, and I'll probably buy the actual cross stitch cloth over in Japan because I reckon I can get it cheaper over there because it's so expensive here. So yeah I'm just gonna go through my cross stitch threads now, figure out what colours I want to bring. I'll probably only bring one little container of cross stitch threads um, and then that way I just have to buy more over there if I need to, which is fine. But I thought because I have the supplies here for that, I may as well use them instead of just buying a whole heap of new ones over in Japan. So yeah, that's what I'm going to get on with today. <laughs> Honestly, don't think I could have picked a better thing to do on a day where I had very little sleep. This is just so relaxing and very satisfying and requires no brain power whatsoever. So yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty relaxed now. It's weird because it's like quite a mundane task, but I don't know, something about it is really satisfying. By the way, Lindsay often talks about how Doing a once a day project like this can be very pressurizing. So I am not putting any pressure on this project whatsoever. I might give up after a week. I'm definitely not going to be stitching these little, little images every single day. It's going to be a when I feel like it type project, um, which means it could never be completed. It might be completed in 10 years time and that is totally okay. I'm not putting any pressure on myself at all but at the moment I'm really inspired by this project and when I told Matt about it he was really excited by it too. I just think it's going to be such a cool piece to keep for the rest of our lives. But yeah definitely go and check out Lindsay Stitches. I think she has a YouTube channel as well. Um, I'll leave her Instagram and YouTube down below if you want to go check out her amazing embroidery. If you do just one thing today then definitely go and check out her 2020 embroidery a day hoop that she made. It is a wonderful thing to behold. I can't imagine the amount of hours that has gone into that piece but yeah it's super inspiring. All right, time to start packing. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that I managed to find a suitcase that is the perfect shade of rosary pink. Definitely not the most practical color I could have chosen, but it's so much fun and I don't care if it gets scuffed up because 
it's just, it's meant for me. I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to start by sorting out which dresses I want to take with me. Um, Matt also got us these like packing cubes, which will make organizing all of our different types of clothing really easy. And with these cubes, we can actually just put all the different types of clothes in one. So I can have all of my jumpers in one cube and all of my dresses in another and yeah just sort things out really easily so when we're kind of like living out of a suitcase for a little bit it will be really easy to know where everything is so yeah let me start by figuring out which of these dresses i'm going to be taking with me It's actually pretty tricky because when we first get there it's spring so it is slightly starting to warm up but there's still going to be those occasional really cold days so I do have a couple of pairs of jeans and my corduroy pants as well because I think they're going to come in really handy if it's a little bit cold but luckily the majority of the time we're there it's going to be summertime which means it is going to be very hot because I've not actually been to Japan in summertime but it can get up to like over 40 degrees celsius so i'm packing dresses as like kind of the majority of things i'll wear because i can layer up my dresses and wear them with tights and jumpers over the top and things like that i just don't want to overpack because there's nothing worse than taking a whole heap of stuff with you that you're not even going to wear so i'm trying to be really strict with what i'm actually bringing with me um uh, but yeah so far so good <laughs> 